good evening. It's your boy to the Z, to the heat, to the hell, to the high, to the O, to the hell. Zellion Baba. Guys, um, I'm doing this video at this late hour. All because of something that just happened to me right now. You know, I was just driving. I was doing my normal driver premium. And I got a ride from uh, somewhere around to Lere to Okwebi. There is a particular restaurant, um, like a lounge, a lounge combined with a restaurant at Okwebi named, let me let me just mention, named The Grid because the owner is my big oga. I salute Mr. Bola wherever you are in the country, outside the country. I greet you. So, you know, get into the lounge. There is this lady that, you know, she was about parking in my front and she was trying to reverse. But I didn't get what she was trying to do, so I just rolled down my glass to ask, Madam, what's going on? Before I know it, I just hear, Why is this one following me? Are you mad? Ah. I, you know, I was so shocked. I opened my mouth and said, ah, What's going on? Before you could know it, the, the what's it called? The lady, you know, came down out of her car and she walked towards my, my car. And she came directly to me and told me that, are you mad? What, what, what's wrong with you? Are you mad? The next thing is, keep quiet. I will slap you now. I said, ah. I just said, ah, again. Am I your son? If I know it, that You just throw me one. No. Baba, I'm not lying to you. The place still they pay me like this. So. Now so lady slap me, oh, Nigerians. Imagine the story was the other way around. I'm sure that by now Nigerians would have roasted me. They would say, How will a common Uber driver? How will a common guy just slap somebody like that? But now it's a lady that slapped me. Before I could even say Jack, people started coming to me and say, Bro, no verse. Bro, no verse. Bro, no verse. Bro, no verse. When we settle on no verse. No verse. Everybody they come. Our friends, like four of them came and said, Bro, we are very sorry, please. She's not okay. She's not. She's not herself. Imagine this thing to happen to me. Imagine I'm the one that did this. By now, Nigerians would come for me. They would have roasted me. Why now? Why do we live in an environment where justice is not served? Why do we live in an environment where people do live in an environment where people do the wrong thing and we keep supporting it? Why? It's not supposed to be. We need to change our mindset. You know, when she eventually slapped me, you know, I, was, I, I actually thought she was joking because she said, keep quiet, I will slap you now. And before I could even say a word, she actually slapped me. And you know, people started coming and saying, ah, bro, bro, bro. Imagine I was not a bro. It was... Imagine I'm a girl. She wouldn't have done that. But she just looked at me and said, this common guy is just a common driver. And I'm very sure for that lady to have slapped me, she must have been doing it. Because for you to slap a stranger you don't even know from anywhere, she must have been doing it. But my preach is just a preach of peace. It's not a good thing to, to lay hands, to apply force on other people when you don't even know them. You don't do that. You don't apply force on other people. You don't try. Don't don't try to. Don't try to. Um, don't try to damage people. That can actually damage my mental. You know, my mental health. You know, he really don't. Go, he really didn't go well with me. For me to you know have myself slapped by a lady it has never happened to me before. Not even my dad. Not even my brother. Not even my wife has tried out to me, you know. But, you know, with love and everything, she actually came back to apologize. And sincerely, I must say that um, while on this job, a lot of things will happen as a driver. You just need to stand your ground and hold your peace. Some things does not want your hunger at all. So I just look at the lady like somebody that's bitter and she might be bruised at any time but thank god she actually realized that what she had done was bad and this is a shout out to all our friends out there come on 
these girls are good. Even when their friend misbehaved, they came to me, they were apologizing, they were just trying to ransack me and you know, one was even rubbing my shoulder and saying, sorry, you are a man, so sorry. She shouldn't have done that. She shouldn't have done that. We are so sorry. So it shows that she was actually surrounded with good people. But she, she, she actually went out of her way to do the wrong thing. And thank God that she was corrected in love. And thank God that uh, she actually, you know, it happens to the right person. Because imagine this happened to a man with so much ego and somebody of power. She might not go scot free. But thanks to God for her, she, she's lucky. It's somebody like P. Zillion. Pastor Zillion in the building. Imagine somebody, a guy even look at me and say, Sir, are you sure you're okay? For somebody to slap you with that weight of slap and you're still smiling. You know, the, the joy of the Lord is my strength now. I can't, I can't feel bad. I can't feel less. I can't feel bad. No, now. Just because of common slap. Uh -uh. No. So, guys. I'm going to be signing out on this note. Is your boy to the Z to the H to the H to the I to the O to the M. To every drivers out there, I'm saying, well done, guys. I'm throwing my salute. You are doing a good job. Well done. Trying to protect your soul.